Okay, it's the 25th of May. Um, the weather has improved dramatically. Temperature today is up near 27 degrees. Just got back from the US. Um, and Lindsay's been diligently feeding the bees while I've been away. Um, but I'm hoping now that we've got some decent weather that uh, they will be able to start foraging on their own. I'm going to replace some feed in the top, but uh, I'm hoping that they won't keep pulling that down and might actually start to bring some nectar in. Obviously, uh, I did see the queen last time, couldn't work out whether she was uh, laying or not, so um, she was unmarked, so possibly a virgin queen. Um, but what I'm hoping to do today is just do a standard inspection. If we can see the queen, that'll be great. I would think a week on that we should at least be able to see some evidence of the queen, even if she was a virgin queen. There's been a few days when she could have got out and mated, so, um, so I'm hoping that we'll actually see some eggs, but we'll crack on. So, put some smoking around the roof, that's not going to make a huge difference because we do have the crown board covered with a feeder, but um, I'm then going to put some in the entrance and then just leave it for a few seconds while they just accept that, um, and I'll put some more in once I actually take the lid off. Um, we'll just wait for them to settle down for just a uh, couple of seconds. Also hoping to remove the... Um, entrance reducer today. I think we'll have a look, see how many bees we've got, but I'm pretty confident we'll have enough bees to be able to remove that. So we'll get on anyway, um, get the lid removed. It's a very hot day here today, um, which will be great for the bees, not quite so good for the beekeeper. Now we've got a feeder here which we know is empty, um, plenty of bees in there, um, so I'll just leave that over here for them to work their way out of that. And I'll just bang a little bit of smoke down in top of the crown board there. Lift the super off. We've been through this before. That's the super empty super just used to give room for the feeder and then the insulation that we've used to keep the hive warm during the during the cooler weather. <clears throat> Put that up out of the way. So a little bit more smoke down in the crown board. Now I've exposed both holes just to let them know I'm coming. may not please them too much but they build a little bit of burr comb here on the uh, on the crown board um, between there and the feeder which isn't unusual but let's actually just try and lift that off there we go a few bees on that shake those ones in and we'll put that down here by the front of the entrance so they can find their way in if there's any still stuck to it as it happens there isn't a little more smoke now across the frames and then we'll just remove this end frame as we can see by the end frame here nothing's yet drawn out on that frame it's completely bare foundation again as a matter of policy we'll stick that down near to the entrance this gives me room to slide these back again I can see that this next frame's not built out they've also not started yet building out this frame here um, this is the short one you'll remember I put in um, in an attempt to get them to draw out some some drone combs so not a lot of point in doing anything there slide this one back now this is really the first one I've got that's actually got some bees on it Let's just give them another dusting they're buzzing well which is a good sign so let's just have a look now at this frame this is the first one realistically that's drawn out you can see there on the face here they're just starting to get interested on that face because I can see from here that a considerable amount of the rest of the hive is actually built out in the centre frames but if we now move this one over we can see here that they're busy building this one out now hopefully you can see that I'd be pretty sure the Queen's not on it so I can maybe show you that a little closer so there they go um, just building that out quite nicely put that one back in trying not to squish anybody and there we go they seem to be quite happy actually at the moment they're staying pretty well down in the middle of the frames we'll just separate these off now now these are going to be heavy with bees and stores and various other things so 
if I lift that one up you can see they've pretty well well drawn certainly half of that out so I'll just take a look now they're actually capping some of those stores it's it's sugar water that they're capping um, there's very little pollen in there and uh, as I say it's mainly stores which I suspect is predominantly sugar water so if we now look on this side of the frame we can see that they've pretty well built that out and you can see also that they're now capping the stores so if we look on here you can see that they're capping the things with wax cappings um, to store ready to feed the colony with I don't again see very much in the way of uh, well no eggs at all in there um, or pollen just literally um, what is probably in fact sugar water but could easily be nectar you can hear them buzzing now that's that's them all starting to fan now to uh, keep the hive cool we'll just put a little more smoke in and move on to the next frame now this frame's got a little bit of comb on the top I want to just get that removed uh, get my hive tool out here and then just scrape that off I don't want that sticking to the underside of the feeder otherwise I'm never going to be able to get that off so I'll just remove that and I'll uh, take and throw that away in a second so we'll just move this one out then now I could be getting closer now to seeing eggs pollen these are getting incredibly heavy these frames now so this one's been completely drawn out and it does have pollen in here um, just having a look to see if I can see any larvae I don't see the queen at the moment and I'll bring this over to you in a second so that you can take a look um, let's just spin it over and take a look at the other side again very drawn out um, capped cells awful lot of pollen in here and uh, not actually still seeing any eggs yet but uh, that doesn't mean there isn't any and I'm actually not seeing a queen either if I bring this closer you'll be able to see the pollen stores um, it's the orange and red pieces hopefully you can see that in the Sun um, and the capped stores in the bottom of it okay stick that frame back in gently try not to squish anybody a little more smoke I think now just uh, just after I put that heavy frame back in we'll take a look at this one now as I say we've not spotted the Queen yet but I'm I'm looking more for evidence of the Queen being there rather than actually the Queen itself um, certainly again we're getting a lot of stores stored and actually I can now see some cell, uh, some eggs so we have eggs in the bottom of the cell which would say to me we have a laying queen we'll just see if we can scan the frame and actually see her um, I think it's going to be really tough for you to see these eggs um, but if I just bring this over and if you look just below the capped ring there's a ring of pollen and if you look into the bottom of those cells you may just catch the glimpse of what looks like a tiny little grain of sand in the bottom which is actually eggs so we have a we have a laying queen by the looks of it which is good need to see those develop out into larvae of course we'll now take a look at the other side of the frame Yeah. Again, it's all starting to develop quite nicely. Um, they're getting some stores in. It'll probably be sugar water rather than nectar, but hopefully they'll start to now store nectar as well. But they're certainly now also starting to 
lay eggs, which is fantastic. Probably only one more frame to do. And I've just squished a little lady there, so let's just come down again. Oh yes, this has got pollen in it uh, and nectar, so we're back into stores really. Heads deep in. Very big frame of bees there. They're looking pretty behaved, pretty nicely behaved, um, not, not huge amounts of problems with me taking a look at them here, but certainly they're drawing all of that out pretty nicely. Just slide her back in again. frame in a different way so I'm actually just going to spin that one round because it's not pushing right together the comb is uh... okay that's better a little more smoke now on this last frame and then we'll take a look there literally is if we look at this you'll see there's very little activity on the other face of it not uh, drawn out at all yet and then this side they're just drawing it out quite nicely storing uh, storing nectar in there don't see any pollen at the moment so again that one can go back in just move these back away now to space them correctly again try not to squidge any bees I'm thinking I may just take a quick look at this center frame again um, I think this was the one with the eggs on it in it yeah there's certainly eggs in the bottom of those cells don't see the queen at the moment but of course she won't physically be able to or they won't physically be able to create eggs without her so she should be somewhere on this frame I see a big cluster at the bottom here um, which would say to me she may well have just dived off the bottom in an effort to uh, avoid my gaze but I actually do have eggs in there so uh, we'll take a look at those in a week's time hopefully we'll have some larvae developing nice and gently close the frames back up close these back up and then last frame back in. Okay. I think we're just about done there. I'll just scrape that crown board. Just remove this burr comb again. Keep everything nice and clean and tidy. <clears throat> and 
do us. And then uh, I need to just be able to prise out this entrance block. those bees back in that and that realistically is I think job done um, we seem to have plenty of bees in there enough certainly to defend the full width of the hive and it'll obviously enable them to be a lot more active and and fly a lot more readily as you can as you can see them doing already so um, I'm going to now hoping to avoid squishing anybody I'm going to put this back on I'm going to put the insulation back in in case it goes cold on me. Like so, I'm going to put a new feeder on, nice clean feeder. Um, the other one's getting a with the the sugar syrup that's in there has got a bit uh, bit dirty. Well, make sure that that covers centre. Put the cap on, and we'll just drop the super on if we can. Perfect. Liner up. Should be somewhere near lined up anyhow. Then we'll take the lid off our sugar syrup. Tip that into the feeder. So, and then if you'll remember from the first video, I like to keep the lids on so we don't attack the ants too much. I like to just dribble stuff down, but actually it looks like I've uh, looks like I've already attracted a bee up into there anyway. So with that, I think we'll uh, put the lid on and leave them to feed. need to make sure we can get the bees out of the old feeder so I think what I'll do there is uh, let's take the lid off there we go okay good and we'll take this feeder away um, to get it tidied up uh, ah, got to put the lid <laughs> on the new feeder so we'll do that very quickly there we go put the lid back on and that's job done